to choose the right dog for you. Forward. Having a dog as a pet is not always the right thing for many people. Some people can't stand the thought of having a dog, while others don't like the idea of having to clean up after their dog. The people who do love to have a dog as their pet and bosom companion are the people who will devote the most time, energy, and effort into raising their dog. These people will find that their lives are empty without a dog to fill the void and will almost always have at least one dog with them. I am, I have to say, one of these people. I got my first dog when I was nine years old, and I haven't looked back since. In the way of children all over the world, I pleaded and begged and all but sold my soul to get my first dog, and then proceeded to forget all about him as the novelty wore off in the first few months. The dog, Catcher, however, didn't forget me and continued to faithfully dog my steps. Yeah, excuse the pun. Until without my even realizing it, he took up a large portion of my affection. I was lucky in this. My first dog lived to the ripe old age of 12, whereupon he succumbed to old age and went to doggy heaven. After a suitable period of mourning, I found myself then missing the unquestioning loyalty and faithfulness of my sole companion, so I went searching around for another companion. This wasn't as easy as I thought, since I didn't want another Labrador. Catcher was a Labrador. But then again, I, I didn't want to deviate too far from the doggy characteristics that made Catcher my dog in a million. Amazingly enough, unlike when I went looking for Catcher for the first time at age nine, I found that mature college student that I was, I was still having difficulty finding and choosing the right dog for me. I spent hours trawling through the various books and other magazines about dogs in an effort to find out what I needed to know before I made a decision. Being older, I now needed some specific characteristics from my dog, traits which Catcher innately had or which he learned through interaction with me as the years wore on. But since this was a whole new ball game and a whole different breed of dog I was after, I gave the matter more thought than I otherwise might have. This in turn led to my untimely embracing everything that was dog, which in turn has led me to this point. I have seen so many mismatched pairings of owner and dog over the years as they troop in and troop out of my sight that I finally gave in to the pleadings of my best friend and decided to put down on paper what knowledge I have collected with the thought of helping fellow dog lovers to find the best pairing of dog for them. Of course, with the advent of the Internet, it's become much easier to find help in choosing the right dog breed for you. But even there, I've found that you have to do a little bit of legwork before you can get to the heart of the matter.